இப்போ நம்ம பார்க்க போகிற கதை வந்து கோல்டன் ஹேர்ஸ் அண்ட் கோல்டன் ஸ்டார்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஸ்டோரி ஆஃப் அ ரிச் கிங் அண்ட் அ மோஸ்ட் பியூட்டிஃபுல் கேர்ள் ஒரு பணக்கார ராஜாவும் ஒரு அழகான பொண்ணும் தே மேரிடு ஈச் அதர் அஸ் தே லவ்டு ஈச் அதர் பட் த கிங்ஸ் ஏ வில் மதர் ஹீட்டட் த ஹேட்டட் த பியூட்டிஃபுல் கேர்ள் அண்ட் லீவ்டு வித் தம் இன் த பேலஸ் அவங்க ரெண்டு பேரும் கல்யாணம் பண்ணிக்கிட்டாங்க ஆனால் அவங்க ராஜாவோட அம்மா வந்து அந்த அழகான பொண்ணை வெறுத்தாங்க ஷீ வாஸ் ஜெலஸ் ஆஃப் நியூ கியூயின் அண்ட் ஷீ ஆல்வேஸ் ட்ரைட் அவுட் வேஸ் டு ஹர்ட் ஹர் ஆஃப்டர் அ இயர் த கியூன் கேவ் பர்த் டு எ லவ்லி பேபி பாய் ஹூ ஆஸ் பார்ன் வித் த்ரீ கோல்டன் ஹேர்ஸ் பிகைன் ஒன் இயர் த விக்டு ஓல்டு கியூயின் பிரிட்டண்ட் டு லே ஹிம் இன் இஸ் கிராடல் பட் ஷீ புட் புட் ஹிம் இன் அ உடன் பாக்ஸ் Then she ran away to the river and dropped this box into the water. From there it floated away downstream. Then she came back to the palace and wrapped a stray dog in a shawl and put it into the baby boy's cradle. When the king came to know about this baby, he came with his courtier to visit the baby. They were horrified to see the hairy black. face of the dog the queen was so upset she started crying and could not say a word then he wicked ma- mother softly said she may be beautiful but your wife is a bitch only bitches can give birth to dogs but the king loved his queen so much that he did not believe his mother again after a year the young queen gave a birth to a little beautiful girl with three golden stars began the tiny began her tiny year again the old queen hit the baby and plunged into the river then she wrapped a shawl around the palace cat and pushed it into the cradle the king did not know what to think when he saw another hairy monster this time the wicked mother said this proves your wife is a witch everyone started saying that the queen is a witch but the king never believed and never stopped loving his wife But the young wife of the king wept miserably day and night for her lost babies. In the night a fisherman was howling up his net from the river. He saw that the wooden box had a cot in the net and also heard the wailing of a baby. He snatched up the box and found the baby lying inside. He rushed home crying happily. Look wife what I have brought you. When she saw the baby she was filled with joy and gladness as they had no child this is a special gift to us from god she laughed when she took the baby out of the box she saw the baby was wearing rich clothes as she rocked the baby gently she discovered the three tiny gold hairs behind his ear so the happy couple called him golden hairs They also found a golden coins in the box. Well, keep these gold coins and the cloths in this box. They decided little golden hairs may need them one day. The couple was now very happy and busy with the golden hairs. The same man fished out a box from a river a year later. He found a darling baby girl lying inside. So he ran home to show her to his wife. to their surprise they found the same golden clothes and the golden coins now they were discussing that she must be a sister of golden hairs because they both were wear in the same clothes and were found in the same type of box and she also had three tiny stars behind her ear so they called her golden stars the two children lived very happily with the fisherman and his wife until one day golden hairs and golden stars dashed inside after playing with their friends by the river both the children came near the fisher woman and politely asked are we your real children the fisher woman said nothing she was busy in doing her work and offered them the sweets she made for them but they shouted are we your real children but then the fisherman also came in and sadly told them the real story and showed them the box of clothes and money they had kept for years the couple sadly nodded their heads the children packed their bags and started moving towards the city thank you dearest parents for taking such great care of us said the boy and girl 
பட் நவ் வி மஸ்ட் கோ இன் த வேர்ல்ட் அண்ட் சர்ச் ஃபார் அவர் ரியல் ஃபாதர் அண்ட் மதர் வென் தே ரீச் த கிரேட் சிட்டி தே டிசைட் டு ரெஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஹாவ் சம் ஃபுட் வித் தேர் கோல்டு காயின்ஸ் தே பிராட் எ ஹவுஸ் அண்ட் கார்டன் அண்ட் த டவுன்ஸ் ஃபால்க் வேர் சேட்டரிங் அபவுட் கிளவர் கோல்டன் ஹேர்ஸ் அண்ட் கோல்டன் ஸ்டார்ஸ் பிகாஸ் தே ஹேட் அ வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் ஹவுஸ் தேர் நியூ ஹவுஸ் வாஸ் நியர் த கிங்ஸ் கேஸ்டில் So everyone at court heard about them too. When the king's wicked mother heard this, their names, the king's mother guessed who are the children were. Now she again planned to get rid of them. She dressed herself as a poor old woman and reached their house. She started pricing everything in sweet sounding words. What a wonderful house, such a beautiful garden. What clever children you are. It would be perfect if only each tree had a tingling bell, wouldn't it? Where can I have these belts? asked the golden hairs eagerly. That's easy, said the cunning old woman. You just climb up the hill and you will find a garden filled with trees and begin one tree hangs a golden bell. Bring it back, hang it in your garden and see what happens. Then she moved away, but she did not tell the children that the garden was a magic garden. Whoever stayed in it for more than one hour would be turned into a tree. I will get this golden bell said golden hairs but her sister was worried and sm- smelled something wrong so she said promise me that you will hurry back with the bell don't waste any time golden hairs promise and uh, on the next very next day he climbed up the hill and found the garden he stretched and pulled off the bell then he hurried back to his house as she had promised he hung up the bell on a tree and next morning Their garden was filled with silvery chimps for every tree. Again the old wicked woman returned, I can now hear lovely chimps but your fountain needs golden fishes. You will find some in a pool on the hill, she said and she slipped away. Now golden has climbed up the hill and found the pool. Quickly he scooped up a fish and ran home with it. Next morning a hundred fishes glittered and gleamed in the fountain. The old cruel woman was very angry and thought that this time she must get rid of the children. So she went to the house a third time. It's wonderful. She shied, but you now need the bird of truth from a big house on the hill. Then I will go tomorrow to his house, said Golden Hass. Golden Stars tried her best to stop him as she smelled something wrong. She wept and cried. Dearest brother, I have, uh, I have had such a fearful dream. I am so frightened. Don't go. I, am, I will sure you will get hurt. But he did not listen and set off. He found a big house and this time he passed through the gardens before he went inside. Each room was shining with gold, gleaming diamonds and sparkling silver. He was astonished and his eyes got stuck to the gold and diamond. Then slowly he started moving towards the bed of truth. As he stretched out his hand to catch it, the clock struck the hour and he fell to the ground, a tiny sparkling piece of glass. Golden stars waited and waited for her brother. Then she too climbed the hill to the enchanted house. Face wet with tears, she wandered outside the garden calling her brother's name. She was very tired and sat under the tree and started crying. Then suddenly a fairy came in white who said, Go inside child, don't look at any treasures, but fill your apron with pieces of glass from the floor. Take the bird of truth and fly away home, hurry. Golden stars rushed toward the house and did everything she had been told. But the moment she stepped outside the magic garden, she saw her dear brother and together they scampered. home and put the bird of truth in a pretty cage and few days the news of the golden bells go the golden fishes and the bats of truth reached the ears of the king and the queen they visited the children's house and the queen asked the bird of truth about her children tears of joy streamed down her face as the bird chirped the story of golden hairs and golden stars she hugged her long lost children but the king grew angry When the bird told about the old queen's weakness, 
she shall float down the river in the wooden box he ordered he then called the fisher man and his wife and rewarded them for their kindness he called everybody and gave a splendid feast but where the river carried the old queen nobody knows